Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put weapon camos and attachments onto previously uncustomizable weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Some of those weapons include the MR6 and even something like the PPSH. This is an awesome glitch that will definitely add a new breath of life to your zombies gameplay, so if you do go ahead to enjoy the video and it does help you out, make sure you drop it a thumbs up and also smash that subscribe button as well as turn on those notifications because we upload some of the best Call of Duty Zombies content on YouTube. That being said, also make sure you check out joemet123.com slash merch via call coffee coffee cups today merch mark one is out final thing if you really consider yourself a huge zombies fan then go ahead and smash that follow button over on twitch for completely free as always we've been blowing up on twitch lately and doing an, um, an insane amount of round 100 challenges doing so many easter eggs and having a ton of fun over there so again if you want to join in the fun once again twitch is never paid it could always be free if you want it to be go and drop a follow on twitch link down below in the description with that being said let's jump right into the video okay so step one of this glitch is to simply connect a secondary controller either with a buddy's account or your secondary account. We'll call this controller 2, but from now on, use controller 1. So note, after connecting controller 2, press the PlayStation button on controller number 1 to switch back to it, and this is going to, of course, be your main account that you want to do the glitch on. Step 2 of this glitch is to go to your PlayStation settings and then make your way over to the storage settings, the system storage, save data, then Black Ops 3, then press the options button on your controller, select the save data for Black Ops 3, and delete it. No, you will not lose any valuable data whatsoever. This just deletes data like your safe area settings and your audio sliders and controller layout, stuff like that, which could be annoying, but this means you'll retain all your leveling, unlocks, camels, and anything else and you'll only have to readjust the smaller scaled stuff so i believe the trade-off is very much worth it once you've done this go ahead and make your way to the network section on the ps4 once again turn off the internet connection once you've done this make your way into black ops 3 once it loads press x to start and then head over to the network settings once again and then check on connect to the internet now make your way back into black ops 3 here you're going to press play online then play online once again as soon as you do that though hit the options button and backslash circle button at the same time this should set you back to the main menu but the option screen kind of like overlaid on top of it if you don't see what you're seeing on my screen right now make sure that you hit the button combination quick enough the timing isn't really that hard so you should be good also keep in mind that the press x to start button overlaid on top of the option screen doesn't immediately pop up it takes about five to ten seconds to pop up by itself again okay so here's a troubleshooting tip if you get a playstation error that says it can't connect when you hit play online wait about two minutes and then proceed with the step sometimes the internet just has to kick in after being turned on and it's a really weird bug that happens but no issues just wait like two minutes you'll be good to go and move on with the rest of the god moving forward proceed to go into zombies with the same controller which of course is controller number one yes i know the screen is bugged out right now that's the point just ignore it just deal with it for now it's okay once in zombies pick up the second controller now and press x to connect it to the game as a secondary player now scroll down and select weapon kits then secondaries then bowie knife once you see this screen right here use controller number one once again and press x you should now see this screen with the cuda switch back to controller number two now and back out of everything sometimes it's three taps sometimes it's four it's not a race wait like three seconds between each time you press the back button you should eventually get this this screen to pop up once again even more bugged out than the last time may i add this next step is extremely simple as it's just a repeat of the previous step now all you have to do is go back into weapon kits which it should already be on that option right on the bottom then head over to secondaries then to bowie knife and select bowie knife once again and this is all with your secondary controller now pick controller number one back up and swipe over to the secondary section you can now select the mr6 and create a variant of it Make a name, select confirm, now stick some zombies attachments on this weapon. So for example, attachments like fast mags and laser sight will work, but some other attachments like a Kimbo won't. And really all that'll do, for example, if you add a Kimbo to your weapon, all that'll do is it'll just unglitch your weapon and it'll just spawn it in by default. It's not that you won't spawn with a weapon, it's not that your game will crash, you'll just spawn in with a default MR6. No camo, no attachments, no nothing. Okay, so once again, at this stage, just throw on whatever attachments you want and whatever camo you want. You can throw on an ELO set if you want. Just make sure you take care of the attachments you want to take care of and that are compatible in zombies. You'll be good to go. Just hit back and hit save. Also, make sure you only have one weapon variant present for the MR6. If there's any more than one, and this is for any other weapon that you're going to make a variant for, obviously don't make a variant for a weapon like the Dingo, although there may be ones next to some other weapons at this stage. Just ignore those because it bugs out, and those are actually the attachments and the camos you have on that weapon already. So if you're trying to create a variant for something like the Dingo or the, you know, just a BRM, any regular Black Ops 3 weapon, don't do that. Leave those the way they are. Just create variants for the DLC weapons like the MR6 or the PPSH or anything like that, but only one at a time. If there is any more than one, then delete the other variant and try to see if the glitch worked, which we'll get to in a second. If not, 
do everything again, delete all the variants this time. Instead of creating a new variant, delete all the variants that are present at this section when you get to the step, and then do the glitch again for a third time. So again, if you're gonna do this once and you have a whole bunch of weapon variants and then you wind up deleting them and then you have one weapon variant left in your MR6, then you go into a game and the glitch doesn't work, then my recommendation is to do the glitch again, get to the stage, delete every single weapon variants, don't leave any one on your MR6, and then close that and then do the glitch a third time, but do it correctly, fresh clean slate pretty much but at this point as long as you followed all the instructions correctly you should have some camos and attachments on your mr6 and you could also glitch out some other dlc weapons as i just said in the game like the ppsh the marshals and so on i do believe you have to have the weapon in order to customize it though i may be wrong so just keep that in mind also keep in mind that i'm not sure if you can add any more than just a camo onto the dlc weapon so for example i'm not sure if you can add something like if it, i don't even know if it's an attachment for it but i'm not sure if you can add something like fast mags to a ppsh so my recommendation would be for the DLC weapons in Black Ops 3, so something like the PPSH, the Marshals, once again, if you want to add something to it, just add camos, but no more than camos. Just stay at camos. But for the DLC weapons, it's just the same as the MR6. Simply back out and press save on the weapon variant once finished. Now use both controllers to back out to the zombie screen, and you could remove the second controller from the game if you wish by just pressing the back button on the controller once more. Load into a solo game on any map with the MR6 to test the glitch out. If you followed everything correctly, bada bing, bada boom, there you go. You you now have a weapon camo and detachments on your MR6 in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Once again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure that you guys do go ahead and drop it a thumbs up and even consider subscribing if you consider yourself a real Call of Duty Zombies fan. Have an awesome day, guys, and I'll see ya.